first year Xavier went real well. We made it to the lead eight, and that's a rare opportunity for most teams. So I think it was real successful, and I was proud to be on the team. As far as pregame routines and superstitions, I just like to listen to music, um, come in the locker room, and that's what some of the guys, cause some, some of the guys are a little bit tight, so I just come in, joke around a little bit, and just get guys ready to play. I'm not too superstitious, though. Playing my first NCAA tournament was a dream come true. People had told me what it was like to experience, but it's nothing that you can say in words that can explain or describe the feeling of playing in front of all those people and with so much things on the line. As a senior, I try to lead the team pretty much how I did last year, just a little bit more of an emphasis placed on my role where I have to be a person on the team when things are going tough in the game or in practice. I got to be the one that the guys can look to and help them out and help them through tough situations. So I just try to lead by example and being encouraging and playing real hard. The best part about playing the Xavier is more probably the fans and the support that we get from the community and um, how they embrace us at the school and how everybody wants to help us out. It's just like a family around here at Xavier and it's a big honor to be on this team and play for this program. My goal for this upcoming season is to at least duplicate the same success we had this past season as far as making it to the Elite Eight, winning 30 games, and just continuing to build on the success of Xavier and just basically take the next step and make it to the Final Four. The support of the Xavier fans means a whole lot. They're out there in tents in the cold waiting to get tickets for the Crosstown Shootout. When I'm walking and go to class and I'm seeing them and I just know that when we're out there playing, they got as much invested as we do as far as supporting us. People are, when we lose, they feel like they lost. So it's just like they're another player on the team, the whole fans, and they just support us so much like other big universities or like a Duke or something like that. Our fans are up there with those um, fans of those universities. So I think we got some of the best fans in the country and we love them.